Hey, hi, hello everyone. It is Mama Smash here with a speed build and today is the second day of Simsmas. So I'm back again with this 12 days of Simsmas build series. And if you haven't checked out the first day of Simsmas yesterday, let me tell you how this series is going to work. So because the 12 days of Chris Christmas start on Christmas day, Starting yesterday and up until the 12th day of Christmas, I will be building one new build every day and posting the speed build here on my channel. The rules for the builds are that one, it'll be a different lot type from any of the other lot types. Two, it'll be in a different world than any of the other days. Three, that it will have some sort of inspiration from whatever that day is. So today being the second day is two turtle doves. So that's part of the inspiration for today's build. And finally, I will have to use at least one of every main object from the days previous. So just like in the song, how on the 12th day, it's like 12 things and 11 things and so on. Since today is the second day, I not only have to have my object for two turtle doves, which is a golden dove statue that you'll see in a minute, but I also have to use yesterday's object, which was a pear tree for a partridge in a pear tree. So that is what the 12 days of Simsmas challenge is going to look like. It's been really fun to work on and I'm really excited to share all of these builds with you all. And so today on the second day of Simsmas, which in the song is two turtle doves. Today I have a spa for you. So we have turtle dove spa. And like I said, it's the object for today is a wall sculpture of two doves that's like a golden sculpture. You can change the swatch so it can be kind of a more of a brassy color as well. I used gold mostly uh, because this spa turned out to be really gold and black for most of the accents. And then I ended up using the pear tree in this kind of little outdoor, well, it's indoor, but looks outdoor because of the glass roof, little courtyard in the center uh, that's kind of a meditation area. So today on the second day of Simsmas, I bring you Turtle Dove Spa. So this was a pretty fun build. I have actually not built a spa before. I've had my Sims go to a spa uh, since I got the spa day pack, but it's uh, different to kind of build it and it's there's a lot in there that I hadn't that pack that I hadn't really used so that was kind of fun I used platforms on the roofing here uh, which was also new to me I've used it a little bit it's good for more modern builds instead of just before when we could kind of do like half walls around and it sort of looked good but not quite uh, what you want and so I've really appreciated being able to have some leeway with what roofing can look like so uh, here on the front of the building, that's the big statue. I've sized it up two times and it's sized up a lot throughout this build. Uh, there's multiple of them. Um, since it's the second day, there had to be at least two uh, and there are definitely more than that. So yeah, and like I said, there's a kind of a glass roof in the center, which it is two stories, but then uh, the middle section that the glass roof covers goes all the way down to that first floor which kind of creates this little meditation space uh, with a pear tree in there and little meditation boards that your sims can meditate at around the outside. So that was pretty fun. I used these windows. I think they're from fitness stuff and I, I really like how big they are and they kind of make this like statement and they're geometric which I thought kind of fit with the whole sleek feel of this spa and it's uh I actually learned about things from different packs uh, when I was making this like I said part of the reason I'm doing this challenge is for fun and uh, I think it's fun to build and this gives me a way to explore new ways of building that I haven't done before and uh, gets me to think outside the box and use my creativity especially as we get into those later days where I'm going to be using at least one object from all of the days previous. So uh, let me know down in the comments if uh, you have a specific day you're looking forward to seeing what that's going to be or if you have any theories of 
what might an object be or what type of build might be good for the other days of Christmas. And we'll see if you're right when we get to that day. So one thing I did learn about objects uh, by doing this build was that if you have spa day and so then you have the wellness skill, um, you can have your sims do yoga. And although I've had my sims like go to a yoga class before or have a yoga mat like at their house and do a, their own yoga routine, I found out that there's like an instructor yoga mat. So when you're building a spa, you put that out and then its grid isn't just like for, you know, around the yoga mat. It extends out to, I think, like 16 grid squares. And then if you put other mats within that grid, like not the instructor mats, but the normal mats, then the instructor can teach anyone that's using those mats. So I didn't know how that worked before. I just kind of thought that there was a sim that was sort of there doing yoga and everybody was like, okay, cool. This is where we do yoga. Uh, but that's a pretty cool feature. Um, I didn't know that that was how that worked. So that was one fun thing that I learned while doing this build. And it, uh, it had never occurred to me. I don't think if I hadn't had to use the pear tree, I don't think I would have thought to make this inner courtyard with this little meditation space. And I really appreciate that this the uh, challenge is giving me a new way to think about things. So, um, so part of the lot type, you have to have a locker room with some showers. So I have two different locker rooms with some showers as well. So there's lockers and then showers. And then there's also two restrooms, um, that are just like general gender neutral restrooms, um, towards the front of the building. So, and I don't know about you, but I, know that I always have trouble because when you don't have the walls up and you can't see the doors to the bathrooms, if it's labeled with a specific gender, your sim can't go into that bathroom. And so these are both the norm, the bathrooms that are like the toilet and the sink are both gender neutral doors. So anybody can go in either one. You don't have to worry about that. Um, so it, I tried to use a, a lot of stuff from spa day since it was a spa. Uh, there's definitely some other packs in here. Like I said, I think the windows were from fitness stuff. I used some uh, windows from Eco Lifestyle, which I actually just recently got. So it's been fun to play around with those. Um, those are really like triangular and boxy on the outside. Gives some dimension to the outside, which was kind of fun. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think, uh, like I said, a lot of it, I really tried to use the spa day stuff to kind of highlight that. So upstairs, you've got this yoga space where there can be an instructor. And then there's also a space upstairs for, well, there's two spaces for a normal massage, like a laying down massage and two spaces for like a chair massage that I think you can get a massage on your head or your feet or something like that. So there's four massage spaces, two of each of those types. Um, and that's upstairs. And then downstairs are the two locker rooms with the showers, the two bathrooms, and the meditation space as well as a sauna um, that's adjacent to the outdoor meditation space. And then of course when you first come in you've got this front desk and these you know uh, shelves with all of the fancy powders and stuff so you can you know bulk up or you know whatever you do um, as well as a vending machine where you can buy well, I guess it's not a vending machine. It's like a fridge, uh, but you can buy drinks from that too. Uh, I really like the aesthetic that the spa day pack has. It's, um, it was fun playing around with these different types of, a, a lot of them go against the wall, um, and they're either wooden or bamboo. Um, and so that was kind of fun to see how those could work together. And, uh, eventually I found that when you put two the like shelving unit together as well as this like square table with a cutout, um, they actually look really good together. So that's pretty cool that those pieces fit really well together and the wood tones even match. I know it is a miracle. So I'm putting in a lot of windows in the inside section where the meditation space is. I wanted that to be a really uh, open space, not only through the roof, but also just through the whole thing. Uh, there is one wall on the bottom level that is not covered in windows. That's because that's where the sauna is. And then there's one on the second floor. That's because that's where two of the 
massage spaces are and I thought that'd be kind of weird if there was like a window into these massage spaces so I end up putting some plants there that window right there I just uh was deciding no there's probably not going to be windows there so um there will end up being some hanging plants there and of course I'm going in and putting some clutter in the in the my massage areas um some like some tan lotion or lotions that you can put some soap in the bathroom things like that I think putting clutter in builds really makes them come alive and gives them a little bit uh, more realistic look so I always find that fun towards the end of my builds to go through and see what uh, we can put in there and make it look a bit more realistic to what a place might look like so putting in now uh, carpets and things like that to really like spruce it up and make it look like it's being used right it's not just some random building so like I said uh, this will be going on for the next uh, 10 more days so we have the 12 days of Simsmas and all of these builds are available under the gallery or at least they will be by the end um, right now there's a couple of them up this one obviously is up and the one from yesterday and you can find them under my gallery ID which is mama smash rr or you can find any of these builds specifically with the gallery hashtag mama smash simsmas so if you're looking for these on the gallery you can find them either of those places and uh, as we're kind of wrapping up the inside I was putting some different clocks and portraits or paintings around I thought having some mirrors up in the yoga studio would be good and pretty realistic and then here's those hanging plants that I told you I would be adding to kind of take up this space so it's not just a random wall and so if you uh, enjoyed today's speed build and you've enjoyed and you're already excited to see the rest of this series uh, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and uh, you can see how this series continues over the next 10 days uh, like I said it's gonna be pretty exciting to see what all these builds are going to encompass, where they're going to be, what lot type they're going to be, and it's been really fun to work on them. So as this is finishing up, putting some finishing touches, some trees on the outside to kind of match the world. Uh, this one was built in Willow Creek, by the way, and uh, it's been really fun to work on. So I hope you all found the spot to be pretty cool, and I will see you all next time. Hope you're having a smashing day. Bye.